Today, we are going to simplify your hacking workflow by showing you how to share a folder from your Kali Linux machine. This method will let you transfer files to and from any host on the same network. Pretty handy, right? In our demo, I will use a Windows host as an example. But don't worry, the process works just as well with other operating systems, like another Linux host or Mac OS. Also, you can do this via the command line or through the UI on your target host. It's all about making file transfer to Kali as easy as possible. But why this method? First, it's simple. In fact, we're leveraging the Samba protocol, commonly used in Windows OS and file servers for folder sharing. Enough talk. Let's jump into the action. And by the way, there is no sponsor for this video. Cool, huh? But if you hit that subscribe button, it will really motivate me to keep creating awesome content for you. Now into the Kali box. First step, let's update our Kali repository. And I will run the apt update command to get the job done. Second, we need to install the Samba service with apt install Samba tech Y. The Y option here will automatically confirm any prompts that pop up during the installation process. Next, I'm creating a new folder right in the root directory and I will call it Kali Share. Let's quickly check with the list command to see if it's there. Here you go. Take note that this folder is what we will be sharing in this demo. Before we tweak the Samba configuration file, always a good idea to back it up. Now let's open the config file and add some details. Here, I'm just going to paste the settings in to save some time. Here on the first line, I've named our section my share, but feel free to choose your own name. Remember to point to the folder pass you want to share and pick a valid user from your system. Let's save and close the file. Excellent. Now I'll set a password for this folder. And give the Samba service a quick restart. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's go to our shared folder and create an empty file there so we can spot it easily from the Windows host. Before switching over, let's grab the IP address of the Scali machine. If you look here, it's 10.0.0.178. Switching to the Windows host now. Let's first confirm the connectivity with a ping to our Kali host. Looks good. It's reachable. All right. Next, I'll map the network drive. Here in the left section, right click on this PC, then select map network drive. After that, I will write the full path to my file share. Next, it's asking for the username and password that I already set on Kali.
Oops, it's not working. Well, don't worry. This is a common mistake. Let's go back on Kali and reopen the configuration file. Aha! Look at the first line. Our share was named my share. That's what we need to use. Let's go back to our Windows host. And let's try with the correct share name. And bingo, it works flawlessly now. 